What is going on my peeps, your boy Versatile is back with another video. Back 24 hours later to show you guys my setup and to talk about my first impressions of the OnePlus 7 Pro. Hopefully you guys appreciated the unboxing video done by my wife Candace. You know, she likes to jump and do some videos from time to time. So, you know, definitely if you haven't already seen that, go check it out. But here we're talking about this beautiful mirror gray finished just awesomeness of what it is the oneplus 7 pro i like how the you know despite of being able to co collect fingerprints and everything it does a good job of self-healing now the one impression already off the bat that i don't like that oneplus did today is that they put your eye and me the eye number like right down here on the phone it's just outright visible i don't kind of like that but outside of that, it's minimal on the back, just a OnePlus logo, OnePlus at the bottom, and then unfortunately your <laughs> IMEI number for the device. As you see, we got the triple lens set up right here. There's been much controversy about these three cameras, primarily the main shooting camera in that it's a 48 megapixel, but it downscales to 12 megapixels unless in you shoot in pro where you can actually get the full resolution, but I guess you get better images out of, out of it being downscaled to 12. Uh, that's what like pixel bending and stuff like that. And then of course the three times optical zoom lens, which I guess technically is a 2.2 uh, at, at times optical zoom lens and it crops in for the three times it, and it crops in from a 13 megapixel to an eight megapixel. So, that's what they advertise to me it's no big deal um you know i guess for how everything's set up they're not of course the one plus is telling the truth about that so you know it is what it is as we see here i got some notifications but my goodness guys this phone has been amazing um wow i don't know what else to say about this phone this phone has been very good in 24 hours uh, initially when i got it i fully charged it took it off set it up took uh, about four hours uh, worth of screen on time. And I was down to like 66, 67% before I put it back on the charger before going to sleep. So that lets you know, it gets pretty decent battery life in terms of screen on time. Now, what I like is I use the abstract app for my wallpapers, which is basically like one plus wallpapers plus other very nice wallpapers. So that's what you see on my lock screen and that you'll see here. That's another one right here. Now, this phone is bigger than what I, you know, so bear with me as I try to, you know, show you guys what I got on here. Now, in the settings, I'm gonna go immediately to display. I think that's the right place to go. And, whoa, no one told you to turn that off. So, I, of course, I have my adaptive brightness on. Why is my focus acting a fool? Come on. Why are we acting funny? All right, so clearly it, it prefers one hand. So I have my adapt adaptive brightness on, and then um, uh, sleep, I have that active for, oh my goodness, guys, hold on, give me a second, okay. Now you see I have that active for five minutes before inactivity. My wife likes having hers at like 30 seconds, because immediately when you stop using it, yeah, she has hers on like 30 seconds, seven minutes. The minute you stop, the minute you look away from her, her phone, it, it goes, it, it locks back down. So in a display for, okay, I thought I was in display, but I wasn't. Okay, I must have left. Uh, night mode, which is your, like your blue light filter, stuff like that. I have my screen refresh rate at 90 Hertz and I have my resolution at QHD plus. So I don't have it auto switching or nothing like that. And unfortunately with the T-Mobile models, we have not received the update uh, one of the recent updates yet with the April security patch that includes like the DC dimming and stuff like that and, and camera improvements. So everything I've been shooting out of here has been like straight out the camera. There was one like minor day one update, of course. I don't know if it's minor per se, but a day one update that still brought some overall improvements. But T-Mobile has been lacking in in regards to giving us uh, keeping us up to date on software updates that OnePlus has been pushing out. So unfortunately, I can't show you those features, but. With that being said, the battery life 
you see I'm at 13% now, I'll show you what everything is there, but I'm rocking this maxed out in terms of my display, and in that time frame where I set this phone up, apps running around in the background, setting up apps, you know, moving, you know, setting up my home pages and everything, three hours and 43 minutes before I actually put it on full charge, and I, and I had 67% left of battery, which is pretty insane. So that just lets you know this 4,000 milliamp battery means business. I have video enhancer on, uh, my ambient display, I have it set up to tap the screen to show. And then uh, my, clock sky, my clock style is the analog. I like that with the little red, the red uh, hour hand, if it, if it focuses. I um, apologize in advance for the focusing issues my phone's going to give me. Uh, I display the message of versatile, of course. I don't have my screen to wake up. Uh, as I told you about my wallpapers, I use the abstract app. And the wallpaper, uh, the, the, the default or stock wallpapers that OnePlus brings along with the phone because they're just gorgeous. And on this display, they look absolutely amazing. And now that I think about it, I think I have night mode on, I do. So let me turn night mode off so that way we get better viewing out of this. How about that, there we go. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, I have a dark theme. I have the custom color of like a, a red crimson color for my accents. It looks very nice. And then, of course, here in my status bar, as you guys see, I have the, you know, my what my network is doing. And I have many status bar icons kind of not showing. I, I decided to forego showing those. You know, you can do that in the status bar here. So in the display, you go to status bar. I use the battery circle. As you see, I'm very low. It turns red, which is dope. I don't use the bar. It's too basic now. The display network speed. I don't have my time showing up here, but if I did, I would do the hour, minutes, and seconds. And then, of course, icon managers where you come in and you can display all your icons up here, or you don't have to. So that's nice. I've I've gotten used to the to the curve. It, it, it's it's a it's a steeper curve than the Samsung. Uh, Galaxy curves that get you know Samsung implemented if anything these kind of remind me of like the Galaxy Edge and the first implementation of the Edge displays in like the S6 range so, cause they're pretty steep but I've gotten used to them they haven't really gotten away I'm just kind of getting used to this fluid display some people say they can't see the 90 Hertz I noticed the 90 Hertz the fluidity the smoothness and how it almost makes you second guess you touching the screen because it's so responsive. Oh, it's it's nice. I have auto rotate on. All right, that's display. I do not disturb is on, so that way you know you don't have to see all these icons up here. Uh, I wish they added the download booster on here, unless and I couldn't find it. But I even searched in settings, I couldn't find it. Download booster allows you to use your network and your Wi-Fi data to boost your Play Store download speeds. And so that would have definitely came in handy when all my apps were downloading on here. I would have loved to do that. But um, let's see here. Yeah, nothing. Nothing in here. I, I guess I do use uh, Wi-Fi calling. Well, in this case, I don't, which is fine. Uh, it's not a big deal to me. Uh, but, uh, let's see. Bluetooth, all that fun stuff. I do have my NFC on. Let's see. Uh, sound, vibrate. The vibration is pretty decent on here. I haven't like had any complaints about the vibration motor within this phone. And since they've improved it for the Pro, you know, I would imagine that it is better than what it used to be. This is my first OnePlus 7 or my OnePlus phone, period. I've always wanted one. This is my first one. I'm enjoying it so far. It really dwarfs the Galaxy S10e. Uh, um, when I use that one, it just feels so teeny now because I've just gotten used to this. I like having this phone. And as much as I don't kind of like big phones here and there, I, I always make exceptions if, if the phone is good or if I can still manage around it. And the build quality of this phone, you'd be surprised how much grip you still get on the sides and the back where I can still one-handedly maneuver this phone in my hand and reach stuff. I have no issues moving around in one hand, you know, so I, I definitely dig it. Back to my setup, I do buttons and gestures, my alert sliders over here right now, I have it on sound, but I, I like the alert slider. I'm using gesture navigation, of course, so, you know, I swipe up, boom, you know, if I wanted to switch apps, just do that, bow. Um, quick gestures, I haven't necessarily gotten to work 
uh, you know, to try to open the camera and stuff like that. It, I haven't been able to get that to work. Um, you can't have double tap the wake and tap the show on at the same time in terms of like your fingerprint sensor. You have to have one or the other on, which is fine. Uh, three finger screenshot does work. I've used that. It's nice. Answer call by raising it to your face. I like that. Uh, flip the mute. Not a big deal to me. I probably should have that on though. Why not? Because, you know what? I'm going to start trying to find excuses to show the back of this phone, although I do have a skin coming in soon. Turn on the camera. I have double tap to do that. Um, let's see. Quick activate the assistance app. You hold the power button, and then it pops up. And then if you want to do, you know, power and all that fun stuff, it'll pop up if you hold it for like five to six seconds or so. So that's that. I like that setup. I like, man, OnePlus knows what they're doing. I'm going to, sh I got the 256 gig version. As you see, I've only used 12%. I've downloaded some pictures that I had to upload to Twitter and Instagram to let you guys know about this video or the previous video. But outside of that, storage is not gonna be an issue on here. Let's see, I got face unlock and my fingerprints on here. Security, see, it's still stuck on March. Hopefully we'll see the April security patch by the end of next week. That would be nice. We will see, I still have pin activated. Let's see, smart lock with my Bluetooth devices so that I can just easily get into my device. Nothing fun there. Let's see, accounts, utilities, gaming mode is cool. You know, I do have answer calls via the speaker, so if I answer the calls, it'll just immediately come through the speakers. I don't have to raise the phone to my face. Let's see, blocking notifications, notifications for third-party calls, disable automatic brightness, gaming display enhancement all that fun stuff light chess or lee chess uh, that's the only game i play on my phone as of right now is a chess game I might try to some other ones since i got this big display this beautiful display other games that might take advantage of the 90 hertz asphalt seems like a very great game since everybody kind of exemplifies gaming experiences on their phones and tablets with asphalt let's see quick launch this is a fun to use so you know, from your lock screen, basically, you just hold your fingerprint sensor and then this will pop up and then you can assign like specific apps to open up there. So let's see if I do that. Tap screen, hold, bow. Now I can swipe and I have certain apps already here, like my play music, voice search, uh, new events, Shazam now in my Google Pay. So this is cool. Um, yeah, exit. I like that quick launch. I, I try to think of it uh, more often since I like to try to use, uh, you know, smart pay, I guess you could call it with Google pay and stuff like that. That's what I try to remember it for parallel apps. I think that's like a way for you to have like a secondary, you know, Twitter account, Instagram account, stuff like that, you know. You know, you want some private activities going down. You can use the parallel apps to do that. I don't use parallel apps. I didn't know what it was at first. So I thought, you know, it would like kind of do like some type of split screen. That's what I thought. And then when I went into my app drawer, I noticed I had like two sets of Instagram and Twitter. So I was like, oh, let me let me back up out of that. I don't need that app locker. Don't use that. I don't have nothing scheduled on and off. I'll just restart it when I feel like it. Let's see here. So that's utilities, Google system update so nothing interesting there now battery it says that it still survived till 2 30 a.m off 12 percent now guys six hours and 42 minutes on 15 hours worth of charge six hours and 42 minutes that's not bad at all maxing out the qhd and 90 hertz that's watching youtube videos i think i watched at least two videos today on here but i was scrolling through answering a bunch of comments on here, a bunch of Twitter scrolling and, you know, having some fun on Twitter, uploading to Instagram, taking pictures, taking some decent pictures with the camera on here to, sh you know, to show you guys. So I've been using this phone throughout the day for sure. Reading articles on Android Central, Android Authority, you know, messing around with Google, updating apps. Like I've been doing that all day today. And that's off of that's that's very good battery life and i still haven't put I, i'll probably put on the charger soon i usually don't like having my battery fall that low of course i don't like having my battery to always have to rebuild back you know a charge from such a low stance so i try to avoid being this low so i will put on the charger the nice part about it is oneplus has that warp charge 
this sucker charges up super quick i love it so it's a definite a definite great plus and so that's that's how i have like you know my settings and whatnot set up for this phone now in terms of my display here this widget oh boy where is this widget from this widget i think i was just scrolling through these So it is, it's the Fave KWGT, it's widget number 155. And this, this is the one I have right here. And I just deleted the arrow out of there and then just kind of enlarged all this. And I deleted the, oops, I deleted the, um, the temperature outside out of there too, because I have another Google bar from the Pixie widget. Uh, I'm using that to display my weather information. So if you go on to Pixie, I might be able to show you really quick. Right there, I use a Pixie widget number 18. I already have the weather in there. I deleted the uh, assistant icon out of the bar, the actual bar. So let me just call it changes. So that's how I get that clean look right there. And since I have the time there, I don't. that's why I don't have it in my status bar. It's, the redundancy is kind of annoying. Uh, of course, it kind of helps if if you're, you know, of course, you know, in apps and whatnot, but it's not a big deal to me. This is the Google status bar with the weather inside of it. Dope, I have it kind of, you know, transparent to reflect this gorgeous wallpaper from the abstract app. And then the one thing that I love and I definitely wanted to try to confirm and just instantly fall in love with is being able to change the icons out on the OnePlus 7 Pro. And so I'm using the H2O icon pack. So you can all, you just hold, hit edit, hit the icon, and then you scroll down I'm using the H2O icon pack. So that's what I'm using for these. And they just blend in beautifully with my wallpaper and my setup. Use the calendar widget, the play music, the pocket cast, Shazam. And then on my folder, it's got all my stuff, whether it's financial, uh, music, a video, my Google apps, my gaming apps, sports and news and whatnot, the tracking. That's the play store right there if you didn't know. And that's photos, internet, of course, message settings. And then over here, I got my calculator and I got my Hue set up for home. And that's all I got there. And then I still have the Google, uh, I forgot how they, what they call this now. I don't know. It's not Google now anymore. It's new it's not even news feed i don't think uh, it's it's definitely different but G <laughs> why it doesn't suck hey will smith is will smith but yeah that's that's my setup of the one plus seven pro but outside of that so far everything's been good i'm looking forward to one plus improving the camera overall through the usage of this phone uh, this phone can last a minute those who watch pokemon if you now it's got smudges on it but this mirror gray does it not remind you of steelix in the color that still steelix was you know the evolution of onyx i like how like the uh the pop-up camera is a different color too this this phone is just man this phone is sexy man this phone is sexy just whoo just clean man oh my god man now I, my one gripe you guys might be able to see it down here a little bit Just so if it will focus, let's see if I can get it to focus. So, okay, I guess not. All right, yeah. You guys kind of see like this boom, boom, and boom. It's how they sealed the display on here. Now, it doesn't bother me or anything, and it hasn't been off. Like, my, my display's been fine. And then up here, you might be able to see a little bit again some of the how they seal the display um it, it's like you can see the somewhat well, i guess you can't really see it no more maybe it went away no i see it when i look off the camera but it's, it's like the sealer that they used for the display it's it seemed like there's just a little extra of this the ceiling goo or whatever so it doesn't get in the way of usage and it doesn't really bother me if i look for it i'll see it but like it, it's not like a you know just staring at you in your face or whatever 
so I, I didn't notice that it, it's a small gripe of mine, but no big deal. And I haven't had no issue with my display. I haven't had any ghosting going on. Some people with their OnePlus that have experienced ghosting where like fandom touches take place. And so I don't know if that's just with like the DC dimming feature or, you know, with this, this display, could there be some possible issues? Um, I don't know, but I haven't had any of those issues. My phone has been just fine. And I guess what I can do is I could play a video real, real quick for you. Let's see. Oh, they're not live anymore. I missed them. Vipe was live earlier. Let me hit up one of my videos. I think the sound's pretty good. Um, let's see. Yeah, why not the Galaxy Buds? Now, if I turn it and I hit the volume. Buds, wah, and whoa. Y'all hear the sound? This, these Dolby Atmos dual speakers Stereo What's speakers on, are amazing. Is back with another video, back with an unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Buds. Yes, I've been on a roll getting some of these product stuff. I've been trying to get for a minute now, and I've finally been able to get my hands on much of these. So let's get right into beautiful, it. First of all, good sound. The packaging. Let me see. Let me turn that down. Now, what I do like that OnePlus has implemented in their software is how the volume changes its sides depending on like you watching a video and whatnot you guys saw how it popped up over here when i went landscape i i like that like some i don't think i have i can't remember if the pixel does that or not i know like the samsung it, the volume still stays up at the top when you enter landscape mode but i like those small attention to detail factors that oneplus think thought of when when they were you know tuning up their their oxygen os so android pie on top of this one plus seven pro is a go I, I i i'm a big fan i'm ready to continue to put this through its paces and continue to give you guys some good coverage got a skin coming through it's a d brand skin i jay williams said soapy guard was good but i forgot soapy guard's name at the time and so now I know going forward to get a soapy guard, but D brand, I'm, I'm gonna try to D brand. I've been using slick wraps. I don't really like slick wraps like that. I mean, I do, but the last time I had one on my phone, it's like, it was like melted into the, the back of the phone out in there. So I'm using a D brand matrix skin. When I get it, it'll be on here. As much as I like this, I, I do want to protect it. No screen protector. I take care of my phones. So but hey, this video has been long enough. Hope you guys appreciate it and enjoyed it. Hope you guys like the setup. You guys got some ideas on how to set your phones up, whether it is the OnePlus 7 Pro or your own phone that you got. Maybe you're rocking a Pixel 3 a XL. Maybe you're rock, rocking a Galaxy S10. Maybe you're rocking that G8. Maybe you're rocking a, 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 a last gen phone. Whatever the case may be, hopefully you guys gain some good info and some good tips for how you can rock your smartphone life. With your boy Versal signing out, and until the next video, 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 ho. Wait for it.